Yeah, I was looking forward to letter day. No, no promises. The deck hasn't been holding up as well as I would have liked, but I think a lot of that has to do with my own decisions, my own lack this of familiarity deck? with the deck. Yeah. But I'll, I'll try to make better decisions now. The more I've gotten to play, you know. Not wizards. Uh, if you're playing what I think you are, I've played it for a yes. little while and just like, people just wouldn't read my cards and I would yeah. just I would just hose them. Yeah, what we need to roll first. Okay. Oh yeah, that'll work. I've got a die right in here. You got it. Your choice. Uh, I'll play. Okay. When Margaret and I were playing, I uh, oh I was like, when you were playing against me and you uh, you went to block the obliterator. I'm like yeah, read read this card. It's dumb. It's really yeah, dumb. Yeah. <laughs> so, are we playing three or one? Wh whatever's good by you, man. Okay. Um, I'll keep it. I'm gonna regret it. Okay. Fair enough. I'll keep as well. All right. Hey. Good times. Well, it might be. It might not. <laughs> let's let's find out. Inquo. I'll try to keep You got me. Uh -oh. <laughs> same set, same art, same hello. Hello. Okay. So, uh, three, three bolt three, against obliterator is. <laughs> You stop feel that. bad card. You stop that right now. Yeah, let's just not, not even bother here. Uh, it's it's yeah, five yeah, black? Four black. Fast. Oh, it's four black. It's black, 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 black. It's always fun to say. Say that five times quick. So, uh, this is... Uh, this is weird. Yep. This is a weird way to... Yep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of if there's anything more degenerate you can do if I let you keep two Stoneforge Mystics. Um, make a germ token and put a sword on it. <laughs> like a quill bounce. That, legitimately, that is, that's, that is a thing. That's it. Or um, or like block obliterator, bounce, yeah. replay, block, bounce, replay. Like yeah, I, not I did with, that not against... with one mana, you don't. Well, not right <laughs> yeah, now, yeah. but like as the game goes on, I guess. Because like that's what I did against Worm Coil earlier. Like I stayed alive for a long time against a Worm Coil because I just... You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I use the batter score. I think I'm actually going, going to take seven, seven, uh, seven field goals. Oh man. Yeah, I'm gonna take the stone forge. All right, that's it. Pass turn. Come on. Oh, oh no! We got there. We it? did. Oh no! Ripping pepperoni. Rimrock Knight? Rimrock. <laughs> uh, I'll go get Steam Vents, go to 17. Sorry. How does this work? <laughs> oh, yeah, you got it. And while you're there, you just want to keep looking. <laughs> For what? So, so you're about to play the Stone Forge, right? So just keep looking yeah. while you're at it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, to, to race Gary. Yeah. <laughs> Cause like if I don't do this, then I think he's just like the that this is the door. Yeah, and this is what and then slam. Mono black, not the most well known for being able to deal with big artifacts. Yeah, or just artifacts. artifacts. I mean, you could like push the token, but it's just yeah, just, depending on About if you're that. playing them. I don't know. The the list that I played of this was before Fatal Push was yes. a card, so it was like. Geralt's Messengers, what? Grave Crawlers, Phyrex and Obliterator. Uh, before Fatal Push, I ran Geth's Verdict. Oh, you have um, you have Dreadshade now too, so you get more. What is that? <laughs> Geth's so Verdict is also right? very good. Yeah. It was Liliana's Triumph for me anyway, before Liliana's Triumph. So. Yeah. And now you're playing that, I guess? Well, I actually, way back in the day when I was intentionally being stupid janky, mm -hmm. I, uh, I had Executioner's Capsule because it gave Devotion. Bro. It's so bad. It's Come on. such a. It's we not a real card. Jay. We talked about this. <laughs> this is like four yeah, years ago. Guys. This is more it's than four years ago. Dang. Right. Exactly. All right. It's a good card. Oh, that card might be the best. I think it's modern playable. <laughs> right? People have Don't you take my Fabish Bull, you monster? Pass turn? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
There's a sweet uh -oh. Hey, <laughs> we did it, man. <laughs> well, that happened. <laughs> Paid off. That escalated quickly. <laughs> I kept it. I was like, if I pill land, this hand's great. If I don't, I just get laughed at. <laughs> I mean, always had you're not it. Not wrong. <laughs> always had it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna play Liliana of the Veil. Vale. <laughs> In response, yeah. Ooh, not what I was expecting. Well, yeah. Yeah, because this when it enters the battlefield. So it's either, it's, Well, it's either that or Batter Skull. Yeah. And then sack this, right? Both are good. Both are good. Yeah, I'll, I'll That'll work. stick with my guns. That'll do. Is that it? That's it. If you find another land, I swear to God. <laughs> Never didn't have it. All right. One, two, yeah, okay. Good. Hey, Tessa, would it be worth to file other Challenger decks and then upgrade it for the new standard? What's the new Challenger deck? The mono red Challenger deck. I'm gonna have to ferry my own spell color back and let you have this 2 2 that does nothing now. Do it. Do it. Wait, um, as you cast it, I think you can actually pay it off with color cast. Because it's when you cast, you may pay a black additional. So I think if this were to die. You would be able to pay the The way that it's worded, I cast it back, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, so I would. Um, I'm gonna actually cast Liliana of the Veil. Mm -hmm. Alright, Edict. Uh, in response. Yep. Get out Batter Skull, Sack Misty. Rip Misty. Interesting tap into the steam bit. Well, you've got a Flood Strand, so that's fine. I'm not even gonna bother putting a counter on her because she's dead. And then pass turn. Oh, that'll work. Which one? Oh, the BBD. Oh, oh, signed, signed. I've got a signed of that one, and the uh, Alex is the other one, right? I, I, I don't know. Um, I didn't bring since I didn't bring Batter Skull with me. I didn't bring the top hat token, but I have one with Ooh, a nice. top hat and a monocle, and I need to draw a cat. Okay, post. No, no, it's just it's the regular one, but I just drew a top hat and a monocle on it. Well, um, I've seen him alter top hats and monocles on like a bunch of people's stuff. Like TJ oh, has, um, he has like gentleman Icarids, and all of his Icarids have Kane's <laughs> top right. hats and monocles and tuxedos. So that, that's why I asked. Good. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Did Post do the original germ token? As far as we're aware. I, I have no idea. I have yeah, one at home that I can look at when I get there and let you know. YouTube in the comment section. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like it's on my desk because I was trying to decide which one to play today. And I had two of these, so I brought two because I was like, so if I do the germ shenanigans with the sword, I might need to. And then I did the germ shenanigans did, yeah. with the sword. Um, All right. Well, especially in the face of three additional lands, I'm glad I took the other, but. Uh, yeah. Um, it's I'll not draw looking turn. great. It's not the best it could be. Uh, she's at one, of course. Yeah. I'll punch Lily and punch you before. All right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. All right. Every card I've drawn this game so far has been a win. I'm uh, <laughs> beginning to wish that I would draw other things. That is, that is fair. I haven't, put a, I haven't put a clock on you yet, though, so... Uh, well, that said, I think that might change soon. Obliterator. Not yet. Pack Rat. Go for it. Uh, Take your time. Attack. So... It's a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, it makes a dude. Uh, in response, uh, discard Fulminator Mage, mm -hmm. make a pack rat. You get my handy dandy token out. And then the real one's dead. Alright, yep. You gotta make you do it. Fetch. It's a two for two. I've gotta make you do it. Yeah, but... Um... I think my deck filters cards more than yours does, yeah. right? Pro oh, oh, definitely. So I think that's why it's fine for me to take this exchange. I mean, yeah. to be fair though, like, like if you keep activating the pack rat, like you you need two of them to kill this. So yeah. I could have left the token on the battlefield because you're down to two cards, and unless you play another land, you're going to do it once a turn, and you just yeah. have to keep blocking events. You know what I mean? I do. So like, I could have tried to tempo you out of the game, but I feel like this was probably safer. Spoiler alert, uh, I think you're probably okay. Take a look at that, folks. Take a look at that. <laughs> now, I appreciate talking through your plays, though. Yeah. Well, I also, like, this is, um, I've been... Shiny. Sorry, go on. It makes me sad that not all of it is shiny, because I used to have foil these, and... Oh. Um, 
can't remember what happened to them. Uh, I may have given them to my cousin who used to play. Oh. Because uh, he was on Spirits when it was in Standard, and that may be where they are. I had Judge Promo Noble Hierarchs. I, I picked them up before Death Threat Shaman was uh, banned in Modern, and sword. Noble became the ramp creature. Also, I have an invention of good. every sword. Except this one. <sighs> one in the main deck. Uh, of sword. Go for it. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, I don't have those eight. anymore. Yeah. All right, six. and then I'll have to discard, so uh, discard. I'm trying to think of if there's anything I could possibly get me out of this. There is not. I'm just going to scoop here. Yeah, yeah, it's Gary Lily. Yeah, Obliterator before the sword was what you needed. Yeah. Oh, so I had the path, but like it makes me use it, so then if you draw a second one, you get out of it, right? And I think that's what you needed there. Yeah. That's a sideboard card there, buddy. Here's my Mr. Crab's impression. Money, 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 money. Money, money, money. Oh, no. Oh, no. Evangeline like, loves when I do that. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Alright, so I'll be on the play. No! <laughs> the secret, oh. folks, is that if you want to do that voice, you put your finger on your throat like this, and you do it up and down while you make the sound. Okay, this one is much more serviceable, and I don't have to fear not drawing lands. <laughs> so hey, we'll, keep we'll take it. it. Okay. All right, let's let's do what we can. Inquo. Mm. Mental misstep. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, the only stuff I was missing to build this deck was Force of Negation because I had all the stuff for Legacy and like the stuff for Modern and everybody had the stainless stroke with Spellcoiler. I mean, yeah. let's be honest. Yeah. Um. Huh. This hand's hard to pick apart too. I think there's a yeah. There's definitely a right answer here. I'm going to take Force of Negation. Modern Standard, whatever. Right. And then yeah, that's it. <laughs> Something like that. I'll see you in a little while. You the man, bro? Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. So I hear? Right. Oh, let me take it down real quick. Good top deck. I like it. I don't like it. I love it. Bit of blossom. And I know you don't have an answer. Faster. You can only watch the Logan Mater player tap out so many times with counter magic in their hand. Oh, these guys are really serious. Yeah, they're really not. They have a lot of fun with it. I'm going to grab a dime. Nobody plays anything too. Have some in my box. All right, I'll take it. Uh, can you roll me to 19, please? Yep. All right, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I do, I do not know if I could beat Bitter Balsam. This is not fun. Like, we will see. I feel like it involves some form of Stoneforge Mystic shenanigans. Mm -hmm. Let's see. That better be the right. You know what? We're going to use the Broken Sleeve. Let's do it. Broken Sleeve. Mm -hmm. We're going to get any wear on a card. It might as well be one that matter. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. How's about? How's about? Uh, Liliana the Veil. Yeah. All right. Pass turn. Uh, I'm gonna fetch Shock and then Lightning Helix. All right. Do do do. Hello. There we go. It got there eventually. We'll take it, I guess. Hey. Alright. Well, no, I'm still at 18 because I fetched off. Oh, sorry. Yep, you're right. Watch him after that. Oh, yeah, you got it. Unfortunately, you can't attack. I wish. That's we'll not get unfortunate. <laughs> That's very fortunate. Get out of here. Soon enough, little bud. Go ahead. Soon enough. All right, spell queller time. Oh, actually. Shh, you do nothing. 
<laughs> Unfortunately, we're not in pack rat territory. Yeah. We had three hours of what? Thank goodness. Overtime. Yeah. You're good, hey, so like the tournament, he's got like they won the day okay. one tournament. Uh, mm -hmm. Combat? Mm hmm. One. Beep. Um. Um. I mean, what do you do? Like, they have 57 zombies, you have 54 zombies. Obliterate me, bro. Right. But they're, yeah, they're, walking an obliterator into a uh, spell queller, that doesn't sound great. Can't really do nothing, though, because you're a flash deck. Yeah, like, so I, I am going to have to do something. I think it's stupid. Take it. This is a stupid line. Like, they never right. printed it. They probably never printed yeah, it. Yeah, disdainful stroke it. also. But at least that's what you have right. to have mountains. Pass turn. Yeah. Well, this it makes you have to have seven different lines. Um, that's true. All right, take it. One, two. But it does, it does pretty right. well in modern. I mean, it's not as a one or a two as a one. Uh, you lose left two, right? Modern, I did, oh, like, didn't I already take it? For this turn? You were at 18. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Thought I, yeah. <laughs> one, I may have done no, 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 you're right, you're right. Because two, and I've taken three from that. So yeah, that's fine. We got there. <clears throat> there we go. All right. Combat. Mm -hmm. Two. Mm -hmm. All right. Gary Oak. Gary Oak, disdainful stroke. Oh, sorry, I had to. I'll fetch. Mm -hmm. Did you have any more catacombs? Gary Oak just stayed the stroke. Yeah, why are you like this? <laughs> I blame it on being a dad. I have to make dad puns now. I don't know. It just, it just comes with the territory. I think what hap uh, stroke? Yeah. It's gone, baby, gone. I think what happens is that when they're little, they can laugh at them. Oh, I'm s how did I miss that? And then we miss, as they get older, we don't get used to the fact that they're not laughing anymore. <laughs> I think that's how it, how it happens. But she's four, so she'll laugh at everything. That's fair. All right. No burden Alright. Uh, let me. I haven't ticked down yet. Just a sec. There we go. Cards in hand? Three. Alright. Was that card an obliterator? Did I walk into a trap? Yeah. You got it. What's she gonna do? Let me read it. And the answer is path. <laughs> what you gonna do? The answer is path. Results. All right. Pass turn. Yep. There we go. I got lucky. I found it <laughs> <laughs> right then and there. Hey, it works, man. Sometimes better lucky than good. I mean, uh, no. Yeah. No. Definitely. Because <laughs> I was like, so if I if I let Gary resolve, I think you win the race with these. But if I leave this back, then like I have a chance to burn you out. Mm -hmm. But if I don't let it resolve and you have Obliterator and I don't draw Path, I was like, I lose. I drew the Path that turn. That's pretty... It works, man. It works. That's what happens when you it have the works. deck with all the answers. Hey, James. Yes, sir. We're going to Okay. All right. Uh, pass turn, by the way. Store credit? I have them separated. Um, just, you know. 2050 store credit. Yeah, let me look at the stack. Um, but, yeah. Um, it's okay, ahead. Chris. He's just gonna take a moment to beat me real quick. That's all. Okay. Uh, <laughs> don't know about that, Mr. A Million Creatures. Uh, you click. Okay. I don't actually have any of my 75. I want to find a spot for it, but I also like want to find a spot for Narset, and that hasn't happened yet either. So. Oh, okay. Um, right now my only planeswalkers are Teferi. Yeah, because I want to keep the CMC low so I can play very few lands. Because hmm. like the more lands you go up, the more you want to play Jason Supreme that's Verdict, right. and you can't play Supreme Verdict in Spellcore. Because if thinking. you get put in a position where you have to verdict, yeah, then, then you lose. They get their card back. Yeah, they yeah. just win on the spot, pretty much. I'm, I'm thinking. Yeah, you're good, man. We're in an odd spot, folks. Walk on. Okay. 
right. And pass turn. Hey, that's good. Uh, better than nothing. Turn. Don't be an idiot. Don't be an idiot. Okay. End of turn. What you got? A reminder can yeah. that is not showing up on camera. Um, all right, let's do it. Walk one. All right. Pass turn. Okay. Uh oh, Stone Forge. Yes. Hi, Misty. Oh, right. I hear she's pretty good. We're gonna uh, she resolves, yeah. A Bater Skull. <laughs> no dash hopes in this deck. Rip. <laughs> oh, <geez>. Not like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Batter Skull's tough. Batter Skull's tough. Well, I mean, it could be, but it also, like. I've got to hurry. Well, you're not going to have much trouble with it, I don't think. Yeah. Much trouble hurrying, that is. Yeah. Now, if I can find a Teferi and make you recast this bitter blossom. Yeah. That, I mean, he would die immediately, but it might be worth it, All right? Draw a card, time walk you. Uh, I mean, the draw a card in and of itself is, is probably worth but I think, it, yeah. I think I would rather bounce a token, because you still pay the life the next turn, and you have, like, an embarrassment of riches as far as mana is concerned. It's going to leave me the same number of tokens effectively, whether you bounce a token but or a But one way it blossom. costs you a life. Yeah, exactly. So I actually think a life is more valuable than two mana in this instance. Blip. Huh. Huh. Black one. All right. Gary? Do it. Uh, sorry, I'm trying not to see the hand. Yeah, he resolves. All right, uh, three. Mm -hmm. So one, two, three. One, two, three. And pass turn. All right. Just don't attack with Gary, Jay. Whatever you do, don't attack with Gary. Okay. That's how you lose. All right, sorry. No, you're, you're good. I'm thinking. Um, I'll take a coffee break. What you think? Go. Where's Bump in the Night? <laughs> Shush. <laughs> Here's the trailer. Season 4 trailer. It came out a week ago. Okay. Oh, yeah? Let's see it. This is the one with the amount of the ice cream shop. I guess there's no time like the present. There you go. Lily. <laughs> budget Lily. Super um, budget Lily on it. Hello? Like, I know it, you, if this doesn't get countered, I'd sack the Stone Forge. Uh -huh. I get that. Um, no, that doesn't work. Well, I mean, like, you tap it to put in a batter skull and then you sack no, it. No, but that uh, die. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna cast Snapcaster Mage and target Lightning Helix. Ooh! I'm gonna Lightning Helix one of the ones that can attack me. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, okay. Alright. Sacrifice to like that. That'll work. Alright. Very good. Okay. May I? Yeah. Sorry. No, that's fine, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. You know, are you a Rick and Morty here? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, See? since we don't have to worry about Batter Skull this turn, I actually can attack with Gary this turn. So... Think, but but 
Batter Skull equips for five mm -hmm. and then bounces back with three. All right, <laughs> Gary and three fairies. Gary and three fairies. Coming for your Harry. Uh, block Gary. All right. Two. Bounce off each other, yep. And then pass turn. <sighs> this needs to be a good card. Ooh, okay. That's not that's not the sound I want to hear. Yeah, when you have that many cards in hand. In a way, I was almost hoping for a land for Colonnade. Uh, I mean, that would have been neat, too. Um, yeah. Pass turn. Okay. All right, rock me to 11. Flip. So I have to survive this attack. Oh, well, let's untap, folks. All right. Make you do it now. Thoughtsies. Okay, let me do the math. Yeah, go for it. Take your time. I think I might just be dead. Unless... Who's going first? Electrolyze would be pretty neat. Pretty don't, neat. Don't put Electrolyze. <sighs> if I could, I would. Um, I, I believe you. I'm one of those that's always a one of people. So I'm gonna skull. Okay, good. Yeah, we get to play the other one. Um, it's okay, it's game two. It's only game two. Only game two. Uh, bolt one of the ones that can attack. Okay. And then purge one of the ones that can attack. Ooh! 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 And now if you attack with these, I survive. And if yeah. you don't attack with those, I survive. That's right. Survive. All right. So, uh, thoughts these results? Um, that seems pretty clear. Take oh. I mean, do what you gotta do. So, so this way I get to make it a turn. Yeah. Which is neat. It is neat, indeed. Because I thought I was dead. I was like, it needs to be Path or Purge. That's all I got. Alright, swing two. Lock one. Lock one. Alright. And then, pass the turn. Yeah. Draw your very separate turn. Combat. Yep. All right. Double blocking. Yeah. Double block. Mm -hmm. All right. Which one would you like to kill? Uh, Gary. All right. Gary's dead. I'll go dead. to five. Okay. He's got, he's got bigger creatures in there. We got to worry about. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. All right. Can I please? Okay. Not really better late than never, unfortunately. Thanks. Liliana. Gatekeeper of the Veil. Yeah. Um, I'll return Batter Skull. Yep. Put it back into play. Okay. To the trigger after. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah. No, I'm just I'm wondering why you didn't just sack the Stone Forge because it puts you in the same spot. Because I want the germ. I did sack the Stone Forge. Didn't, oh, I, I see. I was, you, that's right, because I killed the germ. It, the germ I wasn't the, in it, so I, I killed the germ. I used the that's mana right. to resuit the germ. I'm just. There we go. I'm just having a day. Right. Ah, uh, rip. All right. Two. Block one. Go to four. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. You got it. Okay. Um. Snapcaster Helix was really good, man. Well, this one. Giver's not bad either. Hadouken? Do what that says, and you can reduce him with all that cost. Definitely want to go ahead and cast that guy. I mean, you either double block or yeah. jump block, you, yeah. but you can't not block because then you go to four and That's then right. I can just race your bitter blossom. Mm -hmm. 
Was this guy here? Yeah, taking the force negation made this game way different. Mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wanted Lily to resolve. It didn't exactly happen. I'm surprised there's no fatal pushes. Like, I really expected this Queller to be super dead a long time ago. <laughs> I was too, but, you It know, has gained me, like, this seven. This is not the removal I was looking for. It has gained me, like, seven life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> To be fair though, that does add devotion. Are you playing messenger at all? Uh, no, Mech no. I just Gary, and that's the only devotion card in the deck. Okay. Other than obliterator and gatekeeper, because I mean, like the only card that has devotion on it, yeah. Well, obliterator um, helps, but it's not. Messenger doesn't have devotion. It's uh, when it enters. Which it one is messenger? Two, it's oh, girls messenger. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because like if you go like t turn two this, yeah. turn three messenger, turn four obliterator, you just drain for seven. I don't think it's a good enough card on its own. Well, it has undying, right? It does have undying. That is that part's pretty nice. Oh yeah. yeah. I'll quit talking and let you do your thing. No, no, you're good. So you're this good. is attacking. These are not. Because I need I need yeah. this to not get murked. I'll kill it. Yep. Go to eight. All right. Hopefully, won't die next turn. Uh, uh, you're, you're probably in decent shape on the, in that regard. Of course, if I have a Gary off the top, I'm going to regret that, but oh well. Oh well. Even if you had Gary, I wouldn't be dead. That's right. No, no, no. That's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you'd be at one. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, these don't count. <laughs> no, no. Bl Bitter Blossom, Gatekeeper, Gatekeeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was not Gary. It was Ferguson Obliterator. Those were lands I was holding the whole time. You got, or, yeah, either way, whichever one. You got to dig. I had a uh, Snapcaster for Celestial Purge. Yeah, that's pretty good. Or, that's pretty or good. Snap for Path if you find an Obliterator. And then the next Ooh. turn, um, I wasn't going to bounce. I was going to equip this to Spellqueller, give it yep. Vigilance, and then use this to give it Pro Black All and right. tag you for six. Where's my removal? Where's I mean, my removal? <sighs> That's, ah. So I left Spell Pierce in to catch exactly this card. Yes, yes. And it, it was super dead the whole game. So, <laughs> so um, my next removal spell is Damnation, eight cards down. <laughs> like, you're playing what? Damnation. It's a sideboard card. I mean, fair enough. Yeah. Um, that's your stuff. Thank you. Man. Woo. Woo. Good games. I appreciate it, dude. Fuck Bitter Blossom. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, also a sideboard card. So Damnation Bitter Blossom were the cards that came in. Uh -huh. uh, did its job. So I mean, for me, the cards that enough. came in were two purges. Two Fulminators out. Yeah, Fulminator seems bad in this matchup, because yeah. once I saw it in game one, I, I, like, I could have fetched around it. That's right. But I figured you knew I would, so you would just take them out, so I didn't. So like, yeah, it's Me assuming you were smart may have been a mistake. <laughs> But Aww. You, you, you see what I'm saying? Does that make sense? I do. Like I assumed that you would play around me yeah. fetching, so I had to keep some in Because these aren't great. Like you have to keep some in for yeah. colonnade. But there's only exactly, two colonnades. Exactly. Um I didn't so know this is what I boarded in. Ran, this is the card I wasn't colonnade. sure about, but when I looked at what I could cut. Yeah. Um so I left one bolt in to beat um planeswalkers that tick down. Like yeah. if you wanted to rebuy our obliterator. Stuff like that. Um, Opt is usually, nice. like, I usually cut down to three if I'm not sure what else to cut. And the only two drop I saw was um, Gatekeeper, and I wasn't sure if you had these in your board or not. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to ask. But, like, the, so in hindsight, like, leaving it in probably for this would have been good. But I cut these because the only card I saw game one was Gatekeeper, and yeah. I was really more worried about your three and four mana plays. Yeah. Cause I can I can beat your two mana plays in combat, but I felt like I needed these to beat specifically Gary and Obliterator. Yeah. Cause I was like, if it's just for Obliterator, Path and Celestial Purge might be enough. But then I remembered that you're playing a set of Garys, That's right? right. Say so it's a set of Garys, set of Obliterators. The Garys is what pushed me over, so I boarded like this. There was a time when I actually had Lash Rite in the sideboard in place of Vampire Hex Mage. Excuse me? Lash Rite. Yeah, good old. It doesn't help Devotion, but it gets plus one plus one for each swamp, and it's right. at Phyrexian and equip, mm -hmm. so you put that on an obliterator and it's silly. And you, you slap them. You slap them, yeah. That's called getting clapped. A little bit. It's like, it's um, path or die, basically. Yeah, and I'm gonna lay the deck out real quick. Yeah, go for it. it. Oh, hello. Let's, de let's definitely do this. Deck tech time. Let's go. Absolutely. Absolutely. And if I keep having success with it, I'll probably finish foiling it. Um, I played regular Jeskai control for a long time, which is why like the decks blinged out. 
Okay. Because it was just like like the four helix, four bolt, four path, so yeah. two um, like two copies of Electrolyze, Jace, and Teferi. You know what I mean? Like yeah. So what part is showing? Uh, the whole from top to bottom of the play mat is showing. But uh, while okay. you're while you're laying that out, confession time. Uh, this will eventually be rock. Obliterator rock. Ooh. So uh, let fun. me know if you're missing, like what you're missing. I have a bunch of extra stuff. Like that sounds awesome. There's stuff like, uh, like uh, just mm -hmm. Assassin's Trophy, and yeah. I have the hand attack already. I already have a Liliana of the Veil, and I know I should have more, but I'm not. What? Uh, so it's it's four Liliana of the Last Hope, one Liliana of the Veil is what I'm rocking right now. And then Liliana's Triumph. By that point, I'll have fetch lands in the deck, so it'll turn on Fatal Push more readily. Um, like I, I'm not so sure exactly the the removal suite that it's going to end up, or the interaction suite that it's going to interrupt with. I want Maelstrom Pulse in. I don't have Maelstrom Pulse, but it's not that expensive. Right, uh, and you get Abrupt Decay too. Abrupt Decay against Wurza. I um, I think I'd only have one in the main board yeah, because not, Assassin's Trophy to be. and Maelstrom. Yeah. So this is what the mana base looks like. Um, it's pretty close to classic Jeskai with less colonnades, and you add the speed lands because so my land count is 22 because the most the highest CMC in the deck is three unless you count Batter Skull. Yeah. And if you're casting Batter Skull, the game is either going really long or you're doing really poorly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it's the, it's got the same Shockland package as traditional Jeskai. Um, same basics package minus one planes. Okay. Um, so. So basically what I did against traditional Jeskai is I cut one colonnade and a, and a planes and I think the ninth fetch land and put in three speed lands. Um, okay. So these are just because like I'm wanting to get to three lands. So like if your fourth land comes in tapped, it doesn't really hurt you because you don't have any four drops. Yeah. So as long as I have these early, they're fine. And if they're late, they're okay because if they're coming in tapped, that not, means I'm playing yeah. the game. There's not really an opportunity cost. Right. For it, yeah. And you wanted I wanted more blue white sources that didn't deal damage to me. Okay. Because. So and I'll cover the spells in just a minute. So this is what the mana base looks like. Okay. I got the full set of flooded strands because the only red cards in the main deck are Bolt and Helix. Um, you really just want double blue and single white, single red to start playing the game. Um, you want double red when you start getting into Snapcaster territory and stuff like that because it is playing four snaps. Um, but you just want three untapped lands, which is why Celestial Colonnade is a two of because it's either going to be your first land or make you hiccup if it's not your fourth land. That's right. Okay. So that's what the mana base is looking like. So Snapcaster is your four drop, kind of. Yeah, so, um, three or four drop, depending yeah. on what's in the yard, but for sure. Yeah. Um, sometimes a five drop if the game's gone late and I have a bunch of force negations. Like, um, that's right. Like that's round right. one you against Tron. That. Nice. Round one against Tron, I cast six force negation. I cast three of them out of my hand nice. and then three of them with Snapcaster Mage. So as far times. as the spells are concerned, and you said you do not have room for Narset, right? There, well, I'm gonna talk. About, there's a lot of okay. um, fighting over like what I have room for right now, and I'll show you what choices I made to to play instead of Narset this week. Yeah. And I didn't really get enough data to make a decision on like changing it because I cast Giver of Runes one time and it was against you and it was insane. I've got a. I, I'm I'm kind of in camp one to fairy, but well, so I have another list and I can send it to you later okay. so you can look at it. Um, and it's a list I drew up before playtesting any, and it plays two Jace, two to fairy, two Narset. But uh, it's Jace Mind Sculptor. A, mm, but okay. it's a 25 land deck and it has no Giver Runes uh, and no Spellquellers. Yeah. So it's a Jeskai. It's like a Jeskai control deck with Stoneforge as a finisher, as opposed to a Jeskai Stoneforge deck. Okay. Because this deck's primary plan is Tempo plus Stoneforge. I, I, I see. She's pretty good. So my main deck um, equipment is Feast and Famine and Batter Skull. Okay. Um, Feast and Famine fights for a spot with Fire and Ice. Fire and, Ice. Yep. and if I choose to play Fire and Ice because I need to be more aggressive or have smaller creatures, I'll also play Light and Shadow in the board instead yeah. of... So right now there's Fire and Ice in the board, but there's a Light and Shadow oh, and a different okay. color sleeve in the box because... That's the only change I make to the sideboard, is if I don't want to play Feast and Famine because I need to be faster, I'll play those two. Yeah. Because if you're playing a mid-range fight, the Light and Shadow gets your dudes back. So you can like return Snapcasters to basically accrue card advantage, or you can get Spellcrawlers back. I mean, trust me, this deck would rather see Fire and Ice than Feast and Famine. Oh, ab yeah, absolutely. Well, sometimes. 
Yeah, it's like, so like today, experience. Feast and Famine, the pro black helped me twice. Yes. And untapping my lands let me play Teferi post combat. Yeah. So I, I forced them to make poor blocks because of the pro black, and then I untapped the lands and played Teferi and bounced the thing they didn't block with. They were trying to protect and basically <laughs> reset their turn. The fire. What I mean, in addition to being pro black, the fire nice damage doesn't do anything to obliterator. So right. It doesn't. Oh, you mean your deck would rather yeah, my be playing deck, fire yeah, and ice? Yeah. I thought you meant the the deck that I'm playing. Yeah. The, your your deck playing Feast and Famine is worse for me than if it were playing Fire Right. Yeah. Um, and the Feast and Famine, the big reason that I'm playing it over the other is because the discard. Yep. yep. Um, so this is what the main deck looks like. So the current build, I have four bolts, two helix, uh, two paths. I would prefer to have more paths in the deck, but currently the spell pierce is um, holding the spot for the third path. Okay. Because when you're on the draw with this deck, you really need like one of these cards to be good. Um, I've never been a fan of Spell Snare, but it has been great for me when okay. I've cast it because there's a lot of Dark Confidant, Termogoyf. Yeah, mine might not be the deck for it, but. Like I, like I played against Affinity in tonight. Yeah, oh, um, Cranial and Arcbound. They're, they're big. I, I caught uh, Steel Overseer and a Cranial playing in game one because I got them in the main deck. And then against uh, Spirits, I caught an Unsettled Mariner and a Supreme Phantom. Because I had four mana, and I, so I cast it to counter his spell. He quells, and then I quell back. Because so I have a one mana hard counter. Maybe Helix for more paths. Like I know Helix. Well, the is life really, gain is really important good. because yeah. it's a tempo deck. So it like, tempo, yeah. when you if you don't have Batter Skull gaining you life, but you need to be aggressive, Helix keeps you like. So let's say they have bigger attackers than me, but I have spell coilers. Okay. I can attack them and then just Helix their dome, and sometimes it's almost like a Crypto Command walk where they just their attack isn't as big as they thought it would be. That's right. And it buys me a turn. Also, like Snap Helix against Burn is better than Snap Path. It did get you that. It did get you that last game. So right. that's pretty good. That, that's the reason I'm playing the Helixes. Um, the reason for Opt over other cantrips is because this is a flash deck. Yeah. Like you don't want to play Serum Visions. People do, but I can't because no. every time, every time I play like Colonnade into Serum Visions, I'm just two turns behind and I die. Um, I've seen people playing less than four uh, Snapcaster Mages. For me. Since I have all instant speeds, there's no sorceries in the deck. Like, um, like the 25 land version is playing three snaps because it has a main deck supreme verdict. Okay. And you, you see, what I'm saying like there are yeah. some sorceries in the deck, so you cut this down. Um, Since you so have Teferi, if I was looking for Narset and Jace, yeah, the cuts I would make is I would cut this package, all four coilers, and put two in the board. Okay. Cut all the Giver of Runes. I would go up one of these and one of these. Go down a Teferi and go down a Force Negation to two and put the other two in the board. Okay. And I would play two Narsets, two Jace, a Supreme Verdict, a third equipment, and some number of Cryptic Commands. All right. So if you wanted to convert this to a larger deck, you would cut... Seven out, uh, Teferi out, so that's eight. One up, eight. one up, six. So you'd have... You and said you wouldn't, two narsets, I wouldn't be playing jakes. spell snares. Um, and I would oh, you took out a, a force of negation. So, it's so and I would, and these would become and a snap. So it's these ten would ten. become serum visions. Yeah. yeah. And then you would have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve cards. So any number of cryptics, four more planeswalkers, three more lands. So yeah, definitely so four more walkers, more three more lands, and then you have five cards to do with what you will. Yeah. You can add spot removal. You can go up. You could technically play electrolyze. Because if Wurza if Wurza gets knocked off, then the format slows down another turn, and Electrolyze is going to be good against Affinity. It's going to be good against Humans. It's going to be good against Spirits. Folks, and my ban predictions are notoriously terrible, but I don't think Wurza is going to get knocked off. I, I think that if they ban anything, it would they would probably hit um, Amulet before they hit Wurza because Wurza hasn't had enough time, and like the data online isn't heavy enough yet. If it continues to be good. I think it might, but if you look at the data from this weekend, yeah. it was popular but not successful. Like when Whereas it, Amulet they, did just two percent, or yeah, okay. um, and I can put them up somewhere for you to look at it later because I have broken it down already. Let's finish up on this, but then yeah, but yeah. Absolutely. So those were the changes I would make. I would be three more lands, four more, and the lands would be a colonnade, a fetch, and probably another shock land. Okay. And you would probably turn the speed lands into the cuts that I was talking about before, like switch it back to the old Jeskai. And to be honest, since the deck is mostly three CMC and mostly one of each color, the only double blue cards are Force of Negation, and then you have the Cryptics, you can play two Field of Ruins, but no more, no less. Yeah. Um, okay. And that's what I would do to switch it to a more controlling version that can play Wraths. 
Because Giver of Runes is good at pushing through like that last two turns of damage. But if you have rats in your deck and stuff like that, you just don't want it. But your sideboard also changes a lot if you're not a tempo deck. You can play a Vendillion Click. You you don't have to play as much like, like you don't have to play Geist or a Braid. You can just play more like big haymakers. Want a Braid? Uh, there's, so can we? Well, you can use this room over here for the yeah. sideboard. That'll so work. my sideboard some. is two Celestial Perch okay. for Liliana, yeah. basically um, two Disdainful Stroke, two Timely Reinforcements, one Force, um, a Spell Pierce, yeah, two Geist, which sometimes is one Geist and one Click. This also sometimes becomes a Click depending on where I think I'm going to be playing. Two Stonies, two Abrades, and another Sword because I'm just too partial to fire and ice. Yes. Sometimes this is graveyard hate, and I cut a Snapcaster for it. Yeah, because sometimes, I, I no like, turning off... Or anything. Yeah, well, because this deck is a tempo deck, so, like, yeah. sometimes you really need Snapcaster to snap bolt. Like, you need it to push forward damage, yeah. stuff like that. And in this deck, in my experience, turning off your own snap... Because you don't want the game to go that long unless it has to. Aren't you citing out saps and snaps in those matchups anyway, though? Um, Maybe, like, I don't play the deck, so, like, that's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so if it was the more controlling version, I would definitely have two to three pieces of graveyard hate. Like, two... Probably... These would probably become rest in peace. Yeah. Because Supreme Verdict, a lot of the artifacts are going to be creatures like Ogans Affinity and some other things. And you're cutting the guys, so, like, this could be two wear tears because you're going to have more mana. And these could be um, rest in peace. And then you would trim snaps in those matchups. But since I want to kill them quickly, I don't want to slow my snapcasters down and just turn them into ambush vipers. Yeah. So that's why I have it the way that it is. Okay. But you, but you're right that like sometimes rest in peace is really important and not having it like because there was a Wurza player here last time I played and okay. I, I basically like gave up that matchup to not play them mm. today. Because I don't think I can beat that matchup without graveyard hate unless I just get real lucky and snag their Urza. <sighs> yeah, that that seems tough. Uh, that seems real tough. Like, Disdainful Stroke comes in, but and Force of Negation comes in for that matchup. Mm -hmm. And I guess Spell Pierce, Stony. Um, Stony, I would bring in Stony Force, Stroke, Fire and Ice, and maybe Fire and Ice, because um, Feast and Famine really does nothing against them because they're going to have a million cards. Yeah. So I'd probably bring in Fire and Ice just to keep myself up on cards. I don't even think the damage would be that important because Urza, Urza can't block, so. Um, so I would probably board like this against that deck and cut, so Bolts killed nothing except yeah. for Emery, so I'd probably cut the Helixes, I would probably cut Spell Snares, Okay. and then probably an Opt, and maybe... Teferi? Yeah, maybe a Teferi. Yeah. Alright, well thank you very much, dude, like, thank you very much, this is a, this is an in-depth in-depth deck tag. No uh, problem, man. Do you have like a channel or a stream or anything I can play? I do. Uh, I am... Take notes, folks, and it's in the description as well. I am... And if it's not, let me... Remind me. I am Noggle Bandit Gaming on Twitch and Noggle Bandit on Twitter as well. Okay. Noggle Bandit Gaming on Twitch and Twitter. And I'm surely following you. Sure. Yeah. I think I you're following be. me on Twitter already. I better be. Like, I had a little cut where I was like, I'm following too many people, let me cut some people yeah, yeah, yeah. out. I, and, um, I better be following you, though. <laughs> my work schedule's been pretty busy, so I haven't been streaming, but normally I stream Arena like two to three nights a week. Gotcha. When I have like a normal schedule going. That'll do. But yeah, this is my most recent deck, and hopefully it doesn't give up on me because it's working okay right now. Cool. And this is like, I, I like the tempo people. This is to you what Infect is for me, right? Oh yeah, definitely. All right, this or Jund, but this, um, yeah. I've been playing Jund for so long that it doesn't really take as much effort, and this takes a lot. Yeah, I'm seeing that. It's not the easiest deck to play.